a lay witness meeting in our church. We were going to church there in Wakefield at the Covenant Church. And they uh, were some, uh, several people from Orange City, Sioux Center, Hull, and up in that Dutch country, and they were there. And they found out about my wife's healing, and so they wanted to, one couple from Sioux Center wondered if we'd come up and she would speak to them. So yeah, we'd do that. And so uh, he says, well, he said, you won't be able to speak in Sioux Center, but he says, I'll, we can get you in over at Carmel, a little kind of settlement northwest of uh, Sioux Center. And he said, we can get you in there. So that was okay. And so uh, before we got up there, that it was going to be in May, uh, he called and he said, I was talking to the priest up at uh, Rock Valley, and because he's kind of charismatic, and he says, well, he said, yeah, she could speak up here on Saturday evening, and then she would speak Sunday morning in the church there, the Dutch church. And so we were up there and uh, went up to Rock Valley and spoke uh, in the... Uh, after the mass at the uh, Catholic Church on Saturday night, and my wife, she asked if there's anyone wanted to be prayed for, and nobody came up. It's a priest. He said, "Well, he says maybe you folks don't need it, but he says you know I got a bad back." He says, "Will you pray for me?" And she said, "Sure, I'll pray for you." So uh, prayed for him, and then uh, two or three others they guess figured, well, if it's safe for him, I guess we can try it, and they come up, and so she prayed for a few people, and. We got out of there, and this couple we were staying with, uh, Pete and his wife, and Pete says, you know, he says, you folks awful tired? He says, uh, normally, he says, we go to this uh, house meeting over, at, well, we meet different places, but he says, we're meeting in Inwood tonight, and he says, you want to go up there? And I said, sure, you're driving, so sure, we can ride along. Uh, we get up there, and there was a house packed full of people, hardly room to walk in the house. And we got inside, lady back in the corner, she jumped up, and she's poking her husband, and she says, hey, there's that lady, pointing to my wife. And my wife says, what do you mean, that lady? She says, you were at Catherine Kuhlman meeting. Yeah. She says, I remember when you went forward, Catherine Coon gave a prophecy. You know, there's a lady coming forward right now that's going to have a healing ministry. And she says, that's you. Well, that's the first we had heard about it. Well, the next afternoon, we went to another meeting in a house northwest of Carmel, up in the country. And that happened. There was a man who got up right away when she came in and said, she made this prophecy that you're going to have a healing ministry. So uh, that's the first we knew about it. And that was from November to May. And as it turned out, that's the way it turned out to be. And uh, we, uh, she started praying for people, ministering to people, and miracles did happen. Uh, I can't think of any other right following that, but anyway, well, that night in Inwood, there was a girl, young girl, she was hoarse and couldn't hardly talk. She said, and I'm supposed to sing at a wedding this next week sometime. And she says, I, I don't know how it's going to work out. She says, I can't hardly talk. Will you pray for me? Well, yeah, she'd pray for her. And, you know, the girl took off right then and there singing. She started singing one of the choruses and done a great job. So she was instantly healed. And uh, then uh, we went to Minneapolis to a uh, Holy Spirit conference that summer or August. And uh, we were at a meeting there and there was a, a young couple uh, wanted to know if we would stay in the room there for a little while and she says we've got a 
talk to you about something. Well, uh, they uh, confided in us that they'd been married for eight years and they just never had any children. They couldn't, uh, she just, his wife couldn't conceive and, and uh, they had just, they wanted children. Will you pray for us? Oh, sure, she'd pray for them. And uh, so she prayed for them and a few months later when she got a phone call and uh, they were expecting a baby. <laughs> Went along a uh, few years and we saw them and they had about three or four children and my wife just kidding, she says, well I suppose now you want to pray until <laughs> stop. Oh no, 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 that's fine. 